Disney TV Channel 182. We are here in downtown Blue Ridge with the new series called The Best of Blue Ridge. And I'm now here with Jennifer, who is the marketing director for the Blue Ridge Mountain Arts Association. How are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. You know, you guys have a gorgeous place here. I hear it is the old courthouse in town. It is. It's a historic courthouse. We've been here almost nine years. Oh, wow. um, when they built the new courthouse, we were able to move in here. So it's been a very good home for us. We're able to expand and do all the things we've always wanted to do. Awesome. I know we're standing here kind of in the entrance way and there's artists that are painting, I can hear music, there's dance classes, so there's so many fun things that you guys do. Share with our audience a little bit about what you guys do here. Wow, there's a lot. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> well, we are a nonprofit art council here in Blue Ridge. We've been an organization for 37 years. Okay. Uh, we've kind of moved around different locations until hopefully this will be our permanent home now. Right. Uh, we have classes, we have festivals, we have two Arts in the Park festivals. One's coming up in October, the second weekend in October. So what is the Arts in the Park? Um, we have let's see about probably 170 depending on which festival it is 150 mm -hmm. to 175 different artists it's oh, wow. a juried festival so we have all kinds of fine art that's there and we have um food vendors everybody mm -hmm. set up so and it's just we it, we have like 15,000 people that oh come through into the area because of that and the arts association along with um, our festivals and things we have about a six hundred thousand dollar economic impact on the area wow that's that fantastic has been designated. and you know we've been we've been out and about in Blue Ridge today and I've, I've heard on several of the spots that we've been that arts is a big thing here absolutely mm -hmm. and it's funny because I grew up in this area and I've been here for a long time mm -hmm. and seeing the difference in this area now um, as to where it used to be when I was a kid, mm -hmm. um, it's totally different. Wow. We arts have become, we're actually one of the top five art towns now wow. uh, because the Georgia Council for the Arts has us designated. And uh, it's been great to watch this place come back to life. We have classes, okay. music, art. We have a summer camp during the summer just the for kids. kids. love it. Yes, don't they? it's, it's great. wonderful, especially mm -hmm. with a lot of the arts and stuff that's getting left out in schools mm -hmm. and stuff. It's really nice to be able to nurture that. Mm -hmm. um, we have multiple galleries. This is all member arts. We have different exhibits. Uh, like the Richard Lowe Evans um, in this gallery in here. This changes about every month. Mm -hmm. We have a studio gallery. Um, we have an exhibit in there about every month as well. Uh, the member artists, they can come in and switch out art. Once they're a member, they can bring in stuff to sell. So we really so what try is, to promote. What is a member artist? Sorry, I'm in here. No, it's what, fine. What does that mean? Um, well, we are member based. This is a nonprofit. So anytime okay. anybody joins and if they are an artist, okay. then they can come in and sell their work here. So it gives oh, them, wow. yeah, gives okay. them good exposure as well. So we really try to promote our artists as well as the art in the entire area. Uh, my name is Camille Day. I'm a fine artist. I work in oil and pastel. I found my passion early in life. Um, I've always drawn and painted, uh, but I've never been able to pursue it for full time until um, the last 10 years. Having a place like this has allowed me to treat this like a job. If I want to be a fine artist and make my living at it, I have to be here every day and having this studio has allowed me to, to really treat it like a job. I come in every day, I work hard and that's what it takes to get better at your craft. Uh, for someone who wants to do uh, their art full time, I believe it takes at least 10,000 hours of effort. It's hard work. Anything you want to do and do well takes a lot of hard work. So I know that you guys um, have studios here, correct? We do. So yes. do you rent the studios out to different artists? We do, um, but we have two studio galleries up there. They rent those, and they're able to do their work and sell it up there. Um, and it's basically their working studio. So we've been able to expand, you know, and do so many different so things many different now. Things. Yeah, arts is so important. In it is, and not yes. just like the art part with painting and sculpting and all, but the fine arts part with Absolutely. the music and the dance.
great job showing us around the gallery. Where are we at now? All right, we are in one of several of our different galleries here. This is the studio gallery. Okay. We uh, received a grant a few years back. We were able to transform this into a whole other gallery and put gallery lighting and all that. So this is our 3D show right okay. now. It's called Off the Wall. Um, about every month or so, our exhibits will change except for our member art. And we try to highlight, as you can see here, this is all 3D art. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have some paintings on the wall as well, but we try to incorporate different type of art into our um, organization. Okay. So we have photography and painting, and, and obviously what you see here is the 3D, which could be clay or, um, well, really, if you look around, it's a little bit of everything. Absolutely. Anything 3D. And you know, it really pops out literally like 3D pops <laughs> That's good. Joke, sorry. Um, but it really pops out to you. When I walked in immediately, there are several pieces on the wall that are my favorite. I can just let you know there's one with pink and purple. Uh -huh. I mean, just beautiful colors. Yes. It's great just to see the different artists. So how many different artists are in here, I guess? Oh, gosh. In here, there's probably at least, oh, I would say 25, 30 different artists. Wow. And we do have around seven, 800 members. Mm -hmm. And there's actually probably closer to 1,000. About 700 of those are all artists. So we don't necessarily you know, have all of their artists artwork but we are very eclectic in what we have and we have so many different kinds of artists so it's, it's awesome to it have is, that for sure. it is yeah and we you know we try to promote all of them and, and just pretty much celebrate it all right, so now we're actually here in the yoga and dance studio, right? Yes, ma'am. You guys definitely have a little bit of everything. We do. Um, uh, like, literally, we have a little <laughs> bit of everything. We have um, we have a kids ballet, uh, Miss Roseanne Tuttle. Um, she teaches kids ballet here. We do ballet, tap, and I believe she does jazz. And we also have an adult uh, tap and bar class, and they do, like, toning and tap dancing for adults. What does tap um, and bar mean? I don't understand that. Well, it's partly... Um, um, it's bar partly the work, yeah. <laughs> partly the tap, and then partly they do uh, uh, toning and bar work okay. and stuff. Where it, it's pretty intense. I did it one year. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> so we did that. Um, we also have yoga. Okay. We have yoga here. We do restorative yoga. Um, we have two ladies. It's they kind of have invented their own. It's trademark now. Mm -hmm. um, so we have different yoga classes here. So it's literally just a little bit of everything. We just it's just a matter of scheduling, you know. Yep. I understand so. that. Well, that's great. You yeah. guys have a great facility here. Thank you. A true asset to the community yes. for sure. What is one or two positive things that you've seen the Blue Ridge Arts Association do for the community? Well, I tell you, um, being a native of the general area mm -hmm. and seeing how we were years ago after we had a, a mining company that was shut down and it affected all of our area, and when there's no jobs, there's no people. And I'm seeing um, the arts in this area obviously awesome. just growing and, and truthfully, um, we are pretty much a, a very fantastic hub for that. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it's a great organization. I've been here, uh, gosh, eight years, I guess, and it's positive. It's a positive environment. It's about the artist. It's about the community. It's just a wonderful place to be. Awesome. That's exactly what we are, about the community. Absolutely. So we definitely appreciate you taking the time to speak with us. We're excited to share with our audience literally the best of Blue Ridge. Thank you. And you can definitely count you guys on that list. Thank you so very much. Thank you guys for watching SCB TV. We'll see you next time.